Once you fuse the spine, growth basically stops in that portion of the spine. And in addition to the spine growing, we also have to be concerned about the chest growing and the lungs developing. After a few years of age, maybe six or seven years of age, the lung development has occurred in terms of branching and forming air cells that allow the children to breathe, but their chest wall continues to grow and allows breathing uh, to develop even further. So if a child is older than, say, 10, 11, or 12 years old, a fusion and growth is really not much of a consideration. The big issue is for the child that is six years old or five years old. And what we're seeing in some of these severe types of SMA, this is when the curves are presenting. And this is where it's been so exciting to have some experience with different types of growing systems that while they will support the spine with instrumentation, they're not actually a fusion. They allow you to lengthen the systems as the child is growing uh, so that you can delay a surgery. They're complicated, they require surgery every six months or so, and the complication rates are very high, so I don't know that we have the, the, the final answer yet. But I think that in the right patient, a fusion can be an excellent surgery, can allow them to sit independently, can, can make them comfortable, can stabilize their chest wall to allow breathing, and there's many benefits. But like all decisions we make in these kids, the entire global picture has to be taken care of, and we don't treat necessarily the x-ray or the amount of curvature on an x-ray, but we treat the child and, and try to deal with what's going on with them.